What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video is just a quick video to go over what I think for me is the ultimate setup to use a SSD, a portable SSD with your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. So you can use that Apple ProRes, um, basically right, the high end, high resolution that's going to eat a chunk of storage um, on your iPhone. So to do some professional level photography or videography. Uh, this is the solution I came up with. I've seen a ton of others out there that have you doing like putting in these uh, metal rings so it's MagSafe compatible on SSDs that don't really are made to be MagSafe compatible. So I was like, nah, I don't like that because it doesn't look right or it doesn't fit right. Also, I've seen adapter on adapter on this, like USB-C with a little extender. For me, that doesn't work because it's it's too prone to fall out. And um, you got to, it doesn't fit to the standard of where your MagSafe magnets are at. And so also, you just have an SSD drive sitting there. Some people are using Velcro, some people are using some kind of like sticky tape, double stick. Uh, I just, no, 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 and no. And also, if you're out doing uh, filming, then, you know, your SSD is susceptible to any element of the weather. So, you can actually have rain, you can have dust in the air, you can have all sorts of stuff and you're out doing, you know, outdoor photography or videography and you want some protection there for your SSD. Also, what happens if you lose that? What if your SSD falls off or something when you have it and, and you can't keep it in your pocket? There's just so many things that I wouldn't want to just have my SSD just taped on or Velcroed on or, or whatever because if I lost that, my data even though somebody says, you know, oh, well, it's encrypted. I've seen a lot of those portable SSDs. Encryption doesn't work, okay? Let's just face it. They, they, they advertise it, but a lot of the times they don't work. A lot of these SSDs don't work with the M1 Max, the M2 Max, and people don't utilize that function. So, enter the Samsung T7 Touch. Yes, this has been out a while. This, is going, this has been out for like three, four, maybe even five years. But it's still very fast and a great solution to work with your iPhone 15 Pro. Because basically the port on the Pros are basically like USB 3.2, okay? So what's that mean? That means you're really only gonna get 10 gigs per second when it comes to what you really want, and that's the speed of writing and reading, okay? Not so much reading Unless you're going to like pull it off of your phone. So if you're, all these people are going out and getting 40 gig connectors and stuff like that, overkill. Your port's not going to do it. So don't, don't go out and spend a bunch of money on 40 gig. You know, not, they're not all that expensive, but you're not going to get the 40 gig. This is a 3.2 USB-C port. Okay, go look that up. 10 gigs per second. All right. Thus, I have a 10 gig per second cable, there you go, all right, that's short, but it, it works. This here little mount, this is what I'm going to have in the link, now look at that, a MagSafe mount made for the T7, doesn't have to be the touch, okay, if you just want to get a T7 without the touch, the biometrics, you can, but this T7, I want biometrics. If I lose this, then I want the biometrics to work, okay? Not only encrypted, but you're not gonna get this data, you're not gonna see the data, unless you've got my fingerprint. All right, this case sticks on like glue. It's very magnetic. It works with MagSafe cases. You don't have to have a raw iPhone out there. That's a bonus for me. So you can have a protective case on your phone and you can have this sticking to it. And look, boy, look at that. That, that is, look at that. That's not gonna come off. Sticks on there, you can hear it, double click. That's awesome. It's gonna protect your SSD. Okay, remember I mentioned, from the elements. How does this work? Find your port, slide it in. And if you're wondering, no, this doesn't work on T5s, T6s. Works on the T7. Because how do I know that? I've got a T3 all the way up to a T7. None of them fit, okay? 
I have not tested anything higher than a T7 because I don't think I have like a T9. So, this is made for the T7. Now, I slap that baby on here. Good fit. Even putting the weight in there, not going to move anywhere. I'm going to install my cable. Oops. I'm going to install my cable upside down. In pooper. Install my cable there. Install my cable there. This works with that with a case on. Some of those adapters, you're not going to have a case. Because it won't work. The case prevents those adapters from connecting to your port cleanly. I've got my indicator light now. Now, let me flip it over. I'm going to show you. We're going to load files up. We're going to go to the T7 touch. And you're just going to see the read-only partition. In fact, right there, it says read-only. You're not seeing my folders. My files. Because... Without the biometrics, the T7's like, hey, I don't know you. You haven't authenticated with me yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to push. You can see my indicator. And I just felt a little vibration. And you saw the little animation. Now let's go. Let's do T7. Oh, <gasps> there's folders now. Right? Now I can go into my, this happens just to have movies and TV shows. But now I can go into my folders and access my data. I can do whatever I want with my data. I can read my data. I can... Write my data, I can move my data, anything I want to do now, I can record to this live with the Apple Pro Pro Res, and it's fast. Okay? How fast? Well, let's do a speed test. Yeah, right? We can do a speed test. Here we go. T7 touch. I'm doing a three gig test size, two meg file chunk. Let's just run it. Repeat it. So you can see. There's writes. That's fast. Not getting the full 10 gigs, but hey, there's reads. So spectacular. And look at this setup. Now I've had a loop too. Look at this. I got a loop benefit. So I'm recording. I've got this wrapped around my finger too. So I've got an extra grip on my phone while I am recording my content. Beautiful. My light's on. I've got an indicator. I know I'm recording. Okay, I know this disc is active. Well, at least maybe you're recording and you're, you think you're recording and you're not. This has got an indicator light that shows you, hey, you know what? You're writing to the disc and it's active. That, my friends, is what I think the best camera setup out there currently today. Smooth. And good. Now, would I take this case outside and use it? No, I'd probably use a different case. Although, this is a pretty tight case. It's going to prevent a lot of dust and stuff from getting in it. I'll have a link in the show notes for this little gadget. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Also, for the T7 Touch and the non-T7 Touch, I like the Touch for that added benefit that I know my files are safe if I lost it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.